Good day, First Institutional. These are your announcements for Sunday, February 7th, 2016. We have lots planned this week at FIBC, so make sure you take a look at the left-hand side of your bulletin for a complete listing. This Wednesday, the topic for our Truly Free Bible Study is the three big warning signs. It's all about the three common footholds that Satan uses to gain entry into our lives. Remember, you have to come red and ready, so stop by the Welcome Center following service to pick up your lesson. Then join us in the middle of the day or evening. Pre-noon day prayer is at 11.30 a.m., followed by Bible study at noon. Or come out for prayer worship in the Word on Wednesday at 6.30. You can also pick up a binder today following service in Miss Jessie's place for $5. We want to remind you about our Active Adult Senior Fellowship and Outing taking place this Thursday. A great lunch and play outing have been planned just for you. Please call the church office to reserve your spot. That same evening, FIBC will welcome Ruth Pointer as part of ASU's Project Humanities. It's a free event, but you need a ticket. So call 480-727-7030. Then on Friday, the marriage ministry is inviting all married and engaged couples to a Valentine's murder mystery party. For RSVP information, visit the marriage ministry class at 930 or send an email to info at FIBCAZ.org. Fibco Family Services and the Mayo Clinic is excited to welcome back Dr. Kenneth Poole as part of Your Health Matters Part 2, taking place on Tuesday, February 16th. It's a discussion of black health and research, screenings, prevention, perceptions, myths, and more. It's free and open to all, so join us on February 16th at 6.30. Revival season is here, and we're ramping up to one of the biggest events on our church calendar, Revival 2016. You can jumpstart things by coming out for all night prayer, beginning at 7 p.m. on Friday, February 19th, until 7 a.m. on the 20th. We're gonna have specific prayer focuses each hour, so bring your concerns, then get ready. It'll grow you up real fast when you come to the conclusion that God's way is what's right, even when we miss the mark, even when we don't do what we're supposed to do. We still recognize that God's way is right. Mm. Uh, hi there. I'm Kermit the Frog, and we're uh, well, we're we're almost ready. I'm Quasi, Gonzo, Piggy. need to ask somebody in the sanctuary somebody in the worship center has God ever stood up in the midst of the storms of your life and simply said peace be still just one just one just one just one only one just one that's right revival is coming and we've got lots of tools for you to use to invite your friends and family so make sure you stop by the Welcome Center after service and pick up an invitation card. And remember to be social online. Last Sunday, we set a goal of 100 social media shares. And thanks to you, we exceeded it. So this week, we want to see 200 social shares of a revival-related post. So jump on the FIBC Facebook or Twitter page and start sharing today. And while you're inviting, consider inviting them to a new worship experience coming to FIBC the Saturday right after revival. It's the 4x40 worship experience, launching on the 27th at 4.40 p.m. It's a different type of worship, 60 minutes, designed with you in mind. And this month, we're listening in on bedroom conversations because everything isn't meant to be shared with everybody. Coming out to the 4x40 worship experience also gives you access to Parents' Night Out on us. It's open to anyone with children six months through the fifth grade, and participation is free if you attend worship or you can pay $5 per child from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can get more information on the 4x40 worship experience and Parents' Night Out at the Flight 1141 check-in or on our website, www.fibcas.org. Finally this morning, the date is quickly approaching for our women's brunch, Saturday, February 27th. Tickets are still available following service in the library, so stop by and purchase yours. We're excited to announce that Sister Vanessa McGlothan will be our special soloist, accompanied by Sister Brenda Hankins, and our speaker is the Reverend Karen E. Stewart. So get ready. First Institutional, these are your announcements for the week. Have a blessed day.